Again, thank you all for having us tonight. It's been a distinct pleasure for, for me to be able to share with you all what I want to do as your next city commissioner. I understand what public service is. I've done it for 20 years. That's truly where my heart is, truly where my passion is. And I want to serve as your next city commissioner because I want to make sure I work toward improving your lives. I made an investment in this district. I purchased my home <clears throat> in, in 2008. I immediately ran for my board of directors because I wanted to be involved in my community there. I was elected and I, serve, I currently serve as the president where I've served for the past three years. So I've been involved in my community. I've been involved in this, this great county. And I want to continue that service as your next commissioner. Um, my, my education is also in public administration. And I, so I can use, utilize not only my experience but my education to serve as the best commissioner possible to serve you and make sure that your voices at City Hall are heard. I'm, the also, I'm also the only candidate who offers distinct specifics on my website on what I want to do as your next commissioner. Attention YMCA members and guests, the time is now 7.50 and child development in Kidron will be closing in 10 minutes. The time is 7.50 and child development in Kidron will be closing in 10 minutes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And, and not to cast aspersions on Mr. Ross, but he doesn't live in the district. He lives in, in Thornton Park, where he's always lived in District 4. Um, and to me, I want to serve you because I live in this district. I've made the investment just like you in this district, and I want to serve you because I, I understand the issues that you, that you face, and I understand the issues of this district. So vote Chase Smith for the most experienced candidate, the only candidate who, once elected, can hit the ground running without going through a, a huge learning curve at City Hall. And my website, I hope that you have visited, voteforchase.com. Thank you very much. Walt Disney once wrote, you can create and dream the most wonderful place in the world, but it takes people to make the dream a reality. Tonight I'm surrounded by people that really care to make a difference, and that's great to me. Just so you know, the redistricting lines three blocks away is where I used to live from the old line. So I made this decision before the final decision was made about where that line would be. Let's just get that out of the way. Um, my decision to run for city council rests in living in Orlando for 18 years. 17 of those years I've been involved in community service. I have been out there working with the citizens of Orlando, fighting for seniors, fighting for families winning two Walt Disney World Community Service Awards and serving on multiple boards to represent children, and I don't have any. The bottom line is I am running for Orlando City Council because I want to make it the best place to live and work, and with your support, I will do that. Thank you. Tonight you have heard from your candidates for Orlando City Council. We have come here as opponents, but we also came here with a common purpose to do great things for Orlando. Some of you came with your minds already made up on whom you will vote for. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, honey. <laughs> I have two. For the others, I hope that I have provided you with sufficient answers so that you understand what I expect to accomplish for you and what my philosophy is as a community representative. You have the right to expect more from your local government. I believe that there is room for improvement in everything that we do. I will always look for new ways to cut the city budget and to hold the line on taxes, and I believe in open government. I am performance driven, and you can expect concrete results. I'll give you convenience and value in your local government. As a professor of higher education, I too expect to be graded. I also want you to know that I will not sign a pledge for any self-interest group, no matter how altruistic or generous the cause. The only pledge I will make is the oath of office where I pledge to bear true faith, loyalty, and allegiance to the citizens of Orlando. You do not work for me, I work for you. It's time for the citizen's voice to be heard, and I'm listening. Thank you, Mr. Green. All right, well, again, I'd like to thank the Chamber and the League for, for presenting this forum and giving us a chance to be in front of you. I really would like to congratulate all of you for getting engaged in the process. We know nothing happens unless citizens get involved, so thank you for coming out and taking the time. Gotta also give kudos to Brian. He's been pretty good with the cards. He's right on schedule, so way to go, Brian. Uh, I think what we've learned tonight is if, if we're looking to elect a good guy, I think any one of the four of us is worthy of your vote. 
But I think we're, we're, we're faced with an extraordinary challenge in District 1 right now, an opportunity for us to, to really set the stage for, for our neighbors and our residents here uh, for, for not only the, the next couple of years, but for the next the 20, 10 to 20 years. And I think to do that, we need a candidate that uh, has experienced some, some of the types of challenges that are ahead of, that, for, ahead of us. For instance, uh, we need somebody, I think, who's had a history of creating jobs and, and talking with, with people about trying to, to attract them to Orlando and, and who signed paychecks and who's, again, answered to investors because that's what we're going to have to do is, is companies evaluate moving to Central Florida. Uh, I also think we need to, to, to have somebody that lives in this district. We've never had a commissioner, while they've all been very good, we've never had a commissioner in this district that's lived south of Michigan Avenue. Uh, again, all very good, but it's time for us to have local representation who will go to, to, to listen to the voice of the folks and then go to City Hall and be our representative. And somebody that lives right here in this district, I, I think I'm qualified for that. So I would ask if you've heard anything tonight that, that would cause you to vote, I would love your vote. I appreciate you talking to five of your friends and sharing that because April 3rd is right around the corner. Thank you.